Cassette Beast. No. Wait, where's my body at? Uh, guys? Oh, I respect accidentally, that's right. <laughs> I got real scared there for a second. not against TOS? No, it is not. Okay. Bash will max out and Frenzy will max out. Master at Arms we max out. Now, nothing there. Combat efficiency, exoskeleton, Let's max out natural resist. And maybe we just max out war stance. Kind of do want to point in combat efficiency though at least. And we'll go towards that. Okay. How's our res? A little bad, but let's let's do cows. Have we saved Kane? No. Cows and towers could be really good to do. Bro, I'm loving Spear Barb. What a cool, like, build I get to do. You know, who whoever thought we'd get to play as a spear barbarian? So cool. Any possible way to feed a type of wizard and still iron some bugs and detour? Uh, I mean, I wish, but doubtful. It's it's one of those I have you know made video after video and told them plenty of times about the different bugs that exist, especially like the teleport bug and stuff. It'd be so nice if it was fixed. But... I don't get how to do the endgame stuff. I beat hell, but I don't know what to do from there. So, if you kill Bale, then top left of Bale's chamber, you can dive in there. Um, and then, no, it's not Blue Spirit. If you... 10 minutes, 13, we'll find. Uh, ooh, 14 to life. It's not bad. So killing Bale's one way. Um, another way is go the Icy Cellar should be probably off Ancient's Way or something is my guess. Not red portal after the quest. You have to go to the top left of Bale's chamber and there's a little like entrance to go into. So that'll let you go down into one of the areas. Find Mr. Tree. Multiplayer mods are not legal or not allowed in D2R. They removed that ability. Very enjoyable playthrough, put so many hours in very few days. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've had a lot of fun with the playthrough. I mean, again, I'm literally getting to play a spear barbarian right now, you know? With bash. A spear barbarian who bashes. Like, what a, what a wild and interesting build we get to have here. That's really, really fun. Median XL or Project Diablo 2 are the most popular. Both great in different ways. Thanks, Connor. Same to you. Being able to, able to see item level on ground, yeah, it's nice. Okay, um, so let's see. We have Mosers now, which is really nice. Love me a little Mosers. Oh my god, he's right on top of us. <laughs> yeah, the Haraja cube is absolutely massive. No. Definitely a decent place where we can get some gold. Yes, they did. Defensively, we need to strengthen up a little. A little stronger before we can head into those crazy zones. Is there a clip with them like going through the office doing it? I just know the story, but I haven't heard of any specific clip like that. Exclamation mark remodded, probably. It's single player only. There's no multiplayer mods yet for D2. 
are. I kinda wanna go like doing Dario farming. See if we can pick up some GG's. Is there additional content? Yeah. I just need to like farm a little bit here. I might have a lot of fun with it. Let's go here. You could trade save files, that's true. There's a great hobrick if we wanted to make something in that. So I guess it's always better to get a four open socket, so never mind. Okay. Is plan to allow multi? Multi's not uh, allowed by Blizzard right now. So if. If that gets kind of hacked in a way, then maybe allowed, you know. It'd be possible if, the, if there was some stuff that could be figured out, but... Oh my god! That's a terrible spawn! I'm gonna reset my maps just to see if I can spawn that cow king in a different spot. Yeah, the thought is eventually if Blizzard just kind of gives up on it, they may end up, nope, not caring as much, you know. Well, he was spawning down there, you know, before. You can't? You've tried? In normal, he spawned elsewhere. See? There we go. Better. I guess she spawned elsewhere. Pardon me. Oh no, I reset it accidentally. Oops. Fendry! Oh, that was a bit ago. Thank you very much. Wolfgar! Dude got popped! Ooh, Kiras. That's an upgrade. Nice. So we lose one skill, but we gain some res. That's solid. Sherizad! Don't forget to renew your Prime subscription for Wolfgar. That's right. He's counting on you. If they're gonna abandon, just let the modders do their things. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
So this is better. And now he'll spawn away from us. Excuse me, sheep. Hello, hello. Yeah, Cow King Farm is strong. Potentially too strong. Stone skin. Same area levels? Yeah. It should be the same area levels. Oh my god, stone skin again? Quit it. Can levels and experience be modified? Uh-huh. What can you do with set cores? I don't actually know. I, I need Bonesy here to explain more, or maybe just read the Discord and Wiki and stuff to understand more about what all can be done with the unique and set cores. Currently disabled. Okay. Set cores currently are disabled. The idea is you'll be able to, like, pull out, you know, things in the future, right? Ooh, Eth Giant Thresher. A recipe for cores you can see. Hello. Yeah, I mean, this mod is still a work in progress, so, you know. The Jade Tando has a uh, increased curse radius by one unit and curse duration by two seconds. Also experience gain, interesting. I mean, set cores are currently disabled, but they're not always going to be disabled. Work in progress like Lama RPG. I mean, you can play this one currently, and you can't play Lama RPG, but yes. Same idea. Sagons! <laughs> Alright, so he's got... Honestly... This is probably better. Doesn't quite do enough for him, but... It will soon. Do I have Saigon's boots? No, I don't yet, do I? A lot of experience gain uniques, yeah. Mesh belt again. See if it's a higher magic find. What do we have currently at 12? 11, gross. Oh, sturdy garment. What is this? There's another set belt now. Magic skill damage boost. Hello, Hammerden. True parry. What are these new items? 
And spell steal has teleport removed. Yeah, spell steal is just worthless. <laughs> If I open Detour at the Blizzard client, like normally I can play bo both. So, no, you'll use the Blizzard client to play Detour, and you'll use the, uh, yeah, it was already dead. The Detour launch or whatever to play here. I guess, mm, if you do Dash and the Mon, you might be able to run it through the regular launcher with the additional command line stuff. Oh, there's splash damage attacks. So I'm using Bash, which has splash. Yes, yeah, so you can still play the normal version. So not everything will splash. Palisade Helm. I think we got that before, right? Hey, Bambo. This is in the mod. It has Cow King. Secret Calibre Waypoint, which is kind of wild. Yeah, so we've got the another Vessels, Berserkers, and Sibirbs. Bramble mitts. Ayo, laying of hands. Let's go. What do I currently have? I currently have envies. Which do have dual leech. It's pretty much the main piece of it. We also have broken promise over here. Envies definitely. I thought I had a third glove, I do. Despair. Oh, it has knockback though. Knockback is really annoying actually from it. I probably like laying of hands. And I have way too much fire resist. I won't need alders anymore. We could use Nat boots. Trade them with our mercenary, get our resistances up. I would lose the leech. Like, I actually really like that mana leech right now, so I may hold on to it still. Yeah. All right, Laying of Hands is really solid, though. Very happy with it. We have Raven Frost and Laying of Hands. Oh, yeah, we can also look at Cloud Crack. What does Cloud Crack do for us? Uh, nothing. Okay. You can remove the fire res and add other res? Really? You can remove the fire res? Remove strength enhancement. Oh. Add a fire res to it, then remove that. But why would I want to take the fire res off? Why wouldn't I just want to add another resistance on, you know? Mastering a skill means you put all the skill points into it. It takes minus two fire res and minus three level requirement. But it's not going to Will it take minus three level requirement for each two fire res that it removes? So it would remove 50 and thus bring it to level zero? 
Any physical immunity reduced by 10%. That's pretty nice. Add some enhanced damage. There's just resistances. Attack rating boost. I'll probably just want to jam that all on something. Oh, there's the token forger. Okay, I need to go farm the shards. So maybe we do go farm in Dariel. Give it a look. Oh my god, there's so much density in here. <laughs> Lord! Start off as sorceress, and then you can build other characters to bring along with it. Soul shard, let's go. Unique arrows, hey. Oh no, Wolfgar. I'm excited to see what those are. Unique arrows are 10% increased attack speed, 33% piercing attack, 26 ED, 13 dex. Yo! Flightless are dope. I love those. Alright. 14, two shards. Yeah, 33% pierce is sick. You can orb them up too. Oh my god, you're right, you can orb them. That's really nice. Chaos armor. Hit me. You get teleport from uh, when you kill normal bail. Check the portal button. Okay, so you're saying 1.5 million contains an eye level 90 or lower unique item. I also like Ramaladni's gift, but I need 50,000 kills. I only have 16,000, so. I do love Trang's armor. It's very fun. Hmm. 
Got a Zod today from the tier two chest? That's huge, you kidding me? I didn't know you could get runes from it. Why does the menu look different? Uh, it's got a different UI for it. This this mod has its own UI build. Wait, where's the rune chest? I didn't see a chest for runes. Do the higher bosses like Bale and Diablo have a higher chance of dropping soul shards? Nice, plus three. No. Interesting. Um okay, so let's let's take a look. Oh, tier two rune chest. Tier one unique chest. Hmm. Pricey. Gold is so important in this. Tier 2 rune chest is not worth it, you think? No, you can't play it online. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Oh, it's a Jeeds. Uh, 138, 35, 14. I think that's better. Yeah. I can't do it with that. 138, 35, 14. Pretty nice. It is worth it. It has the same chance for Zod and L. Oh my god, that's insane. Alright, that definitely seems worth it then. I am level 75. Plenty of leveling to be done still. Okay, so we got that max. All skill levels increased by one. Hmm. Skills improved from O skills. Strengthen hit points. Physical resistance 15%. I'm wondering if I should just go exoskeleton and build to be really tanky. You know? It's that or combat efficiency. Let's let's go combat efficiency first. How's everybody doing today? Happy Thursday, is that right? I honestly thought it was Monday. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, wait, it's not a Monday. Hi, Epi, I'm good. I'm using obedience.
Almost that weekend, baby. and hearts and that keep the cores down perfect that just keeps track of how many kills and deaths you have SOJ or standard heroes oh nice Yeah, we could try and get up towards Ubers. That'd be fun. Soul shards, twisted essence. Oh gosh, Jax. <laughs> Where'd you put the song compared to Mini Excel and Project G2? Is it better than those? I don't think it's better than those yet, just because it has a lot of room still. You know, it's it, there's still too much room to to go with it, but. I think it's lining itself up to, you know, work its way towards those. So that's the, the thing I would say. Double Sivers. Spire of Honor. Just doesn't, hmm. I mean, it's nice, but obedience is just better. But I do get to add things onto this if I wanted. Uh, plus three. That's eh, combat skills paladin. All right, let's just. Just do that. Essence. Dang it. Bowser's Gate was inspired by D&D, yeah. I believe I'm on players one. I should, I could maybe go players three. Or we could do the wild player seven strats that just got figured out. I got three shards from that grouping of it. it I think it's random one to three. Ooh, unique ring. SOJ. 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 Baby. Honestly, getting some nicer weapons from a mercenary wouldn't be bad. Soul Shard. 24 Nagel. Get out of here with that trash. Ooh, we got a second piece of that. Order 
It is Dwarf Star with 17% increased magic find. What? Wow, Dwarf got a boost. Good old chromatic iron. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. Okay, so we, I mean, we have a dwarf raven combo. That's not bad. But while I have Durial Shell, I feel like it's not as necessary. It's just when I get like a better armor. Hmm. PD2R. It's quite different from PD2 actually. Enjoyable though. I've been having a good time. Um, all right, let's go. Let's do the the player seven trick. Let's see. Guess it doesn't really matter as much here. How come these mods haven't made a D two R version? Uh, they can't. One, you can't do like. As much hard coding here, code injection and stuff, you can't do that. So it's you don't you, you're limited more in what you can do. Two. I that was long enough. Um, you can't make online in D two R, which a lot of people dislike. How does upgrading gems work in this mod? Can't figure out why they won't transmute to the next gem. Can you not just put three in a cube and make the next? That's interesting. If you put them in your bag, and then you, ex you pull them out, they'll automatically be perfect. So you can always just make it perfect. But that's curious if they actually... Thank you. Appreciate that. Sukata with 95 months. Get out of here. That's crazy. Double unique amulet and a unique ring. Come on, baby. Give me like a Mars or something. Hi, Lords. Man old heel and double Nokazin? It's not supposed to be able to drop the same thing twice. Aw oh, man. <sighs> wow. Fake out to just get wrecked. How miserable. What's the weird bag thing? It's like a way to recycle uniques and sets. How's it earned with the jewel in it work? Basically, if there's space prior, so if I have a four open socket armor and the rune root only takes two sockets, then I can use the first two sockets for jewels. So. Yeah, 
It's a fun little addition there. Another NoCo? Wait, was that another unique amulet? I don't think so. Yeah, Media and XL has that as well. Oh, it was! The Rising Sun! It's better. Still know what, what we want, but absorbs fire damage, so that's helpful for if we get into some nasty areas later. Uh-huh. All right, so let's see. Um, I think you might be right, Vistu. So the essence is... 25% chance of 5 to 10 gems. So I have 120 gems. No, still 120. Didn't work. And yeah, we'll keep the Millibregas and Rising Sun. All right, we're maxed out on gold there. That's good. Maybe I should be collecting gold find. No, because you really don't get that much gold from the gold find. But maybe if there's enough, and you could like go to Travancore or something, you know? I think you still just get it from selling all the stuff. This is... This is the gold, actually, you know. Yeah, gold find just isn't quite worth it. Gold find works on gold piles. Oh, that's not bad. It's not a bad thing there. Uh -huh. Reduce cooldown by 6%. It's nice. Might want to keep that ring for later. It was worth 150k for uh, a little quickie trav kill. That's not bad. Yeah, I know. I agree. Oh, we almost had the perfect map. I was like, oh my god, we need to farm Mephisto. Non-stop Mephisto runs. So close. Instead, it's probably terrible. Or it's on a quick wraparound there, which could be nice. You can select the perfect map at the start of the launcher? What do you mean? Oh, like you download a map and then tell it to use that one? That feels like maybe a little too much cheating for me. I like the mystery and having to go find my own maps. Personally, y'all do what you want to do. I, I'm not judging. Sounds kind of judgy. Yeah, I'm judging a little bit. 
I'm having a blast with this mod, man. This has been a great experience. Feels a little easy so far. I mean, maybe a tiny bit in some ways, but I kind of don't mind. Like, it's just, like, fun. And uh, being a little easier, a little whatever, I'm getting to play, like, a Spear Barbarian, you know? Like, felt hard for you. I think certain parts have felt easier and certain parts have felt harder. I wouldn't say it's, like, straight easy across the board or anything, though. Probably depends your character a little bit more and all that as well. Fourteen light res, I like that. Um, eight light res, fourteen life, you can go away. Okay. All right, let's take a look at some of these uniques. Class balance is not settled yet, for sure. Three to javelin skills. Card level twenty-five in case corset. Blood moon, ooh. This we'll give to our mercenary. Oh, can it, wait, can our mercenary use rapid strikes? No. We can use that though, so let's do this over this. Dude, I love this rapid strike. It's such a cool. Look at this. Just dual wielding two of these puppies. A little frenzy madness with that. You got scammed on tradery. Hello, traveler. You can probably report that there, right? Using Roger Shop to purchase awards. Okay. Um Okay, monster level 85. This is terror zone. Oh my god, is this player 7 or something? Why what is Why is it so hard to kill these guys? I mean, I know I'm only level 75, but still. Wow, that is so much experience per kill. Did they upgrade? Okay, they must have increased. No, it's still level 85. I'm so confused why this is so hard. But look at my experience bar when I'm like killing things. It's wild. Terror zones are much more terrifying, but much more experience giving as well, it seems. Seems like that is a change. You went from 8 to 85 and 5 minutes in the end game zone. You were able to do that? Dude, the archers in there just absolutely punish my face. Nasty. I have melee splash because I'm using bash. So certain skills will have that splash.
Huh. Yeah, just report it. Best you can do. Best you can do. Best class to play on this mod. Paladin and Amazon are both really good. Necro is also decent. Pally is OP, yeah. Astro's one. It's alright, it's up to the rangers now to take him down. Yes! Exclamation mark, YouTube will take you over. I mean, the install is pretty, pretty easy on it, so. Oh my god. Whoa! That's super poison. Oh my gosh! Is it the poison or the electric that's killing me? Good lord. Uh, I don't know which thing. I only have five poison res and 48 light res, so it's not perfect, but with that, I'm actually maxed on it. Maybe my aura isn't there? Maybe it was. I don't know. I have no clue. That hurt. That's all I know. Okay, yeah, so terror zones are just way harder actually, but they give way more experience as well. They're still area level 85, but they just are wild amounts. That's what was going on there. Are the new bow skills good? I don't know. I, I haven't played the zone yet. I mean, I definitely want to go play some other characters, but right now I kind of want to, like, build out my Barbarian first, and... But with good gear, I probably could start shifting into other characters and allowing myself to kind of rush faster a little bit. Ooh, I wonder if I can transfer the, the Beacon of Hope over to my other characters so I can teleport from level 1. I wonder if that's possible. You can? Oh! Oh my gosh. Alright, then yeah, we'll definitely be able to like kind of speed run up some other characters. TPS level 35 requirement. Ah, darn it. I mean, you can still move really fast even with that. You kill a uh, normal Bale and he gives you Beacon of Hope.
Just get bacon of hope. That does sound tastier. That does sound tastier. Yoked. Thank you. Did I play any hockey this week? Yeah, we played on Sunday. We won eight to four. I realized that I wasn't gaining enough depth when I was playing before. Ooh, Wiz Pike, nice. I need to make sure I properly take my depth. Beautiful. I did not, Fridgey. Is it a good one? Did him dirty. Got a game tonight. 4-0 in the league? Wow. Look at you guys. Told you might live stream hockey again? I'd love to. It's just hard to do it. Honestly. Because Moo Girl's not there. And so the best thing I can do is... Use my GoPro, get a thingy, put it up on the glass behind me. Have that stream to my phone and then stream that from my phone. And just kind of have that sitting like in a baggie somewhere and hope it doesn't get taken. Yeah, I play goalie. Probably the best, best way we could do it. Oh yeah, Wolfgar is a beast. Now, to both. So I could potentially get it set, but then it's really just kind of, you know, if it drops, if things happen, you just never know. No, they don't know. Two to Amazon skills. Gorgeous. Whoa! 20 all reds, 40 cold reds, 17 decks. I might use that over Mahi Moke, honestly. That's really nice. Plus it gives five mana steel. Which is also solid. My damage is... 1164 to 5799. Now, how much of that is actually the damage? Crafted item level requirements are way lower. Nice. 
this money. Uh, Juan and throwing weapons really need some value adjustments. Trash, 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 trash. Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. Put that in there. 218,000. It's all right. Building up our gold bars. All right, let's see if we can uh, go fight in the trials now. These archers suck, man. Minions. Immediate level 99 items. Well, it's level 99 area, so. Ding. Report for hacking with their white armor. I know. Spicy in here. Oh, it's immune to physical. I don't like that. Oh, wait, you can't teleport in here. That's right. Yeah, I feel like I'm fighting the White Walkers. FCR. It's interesting. Okay. All righty. I think D4 season two will be decent. Eh, I think it'll be all right. Teleport within line of sight. Ah, okay. Just not across walls. Okay, I need to get away from from this dude. That that boss is murderous. Stone spell here. Man is killing me. Is that another physical immune? Good lord. Quit it with the physical immunes. Jeez. Yeah, 
shit's nasty in here, man. Any point going fire plus resort now asunders? Mm, once you get asunder, not generally, no. I feel like I still need to get stronger before I really do much in this area. I'm picking up to sell. Last plate set. So are there bosses at the end of these trials? Or is it just... a map that you just kill stuff? Sub caves with bosses every so often. Okay, so not guaranteed. I feel like I need to get like grief or something, you know? Like it's re I'm ready to level up my my weapon. Maybe grief is less good now. I don't know. But it feels like down here my weapon is starting to really uh show its difficulties. Grief is the same? Okay. So grief's still godly. I thought a lot more runes dropped down here. Did he change that? Might be less special with the orb pink and flat damage easy to get, that's true. Best build for Barb? I, I don't know, I'm still kind of going through them all. This one's working pretty well, to be honest. I, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. I want to see how deep these caves go. Mountain storm looks good. The one that does all the different elements. Yeah, the problem with throw barb is the damage is just not there for him. Oh, we got elders. When did we get that? Damage was just lacking, I felt like when I played that, so. Thirty-five ED. Vessels, anointment, and atonement. Um, speed run through normal with fan out. I 
Fire cold and physical damage to a single enemy. A single enemy is the tough part. You know. Now, ground render. Yeah, it's a good, like, boss killer for sure, but. Ground render, how does this do? Against, uh. Everything. Because I'm looking for, like, what should I use in a map? You know? Oh, there we go, there's that. Icy. Let's try some chaos. Chaos Sanctuary is terrorized. Oh boy. like a whole level up in front of us it feels like <laughs> kill all these suits Yeah, you won't accidentally go on multiplayer with this. It's impossible to. You can't you can't accidentally brick it and then get banned or anything. It messed with online in kind of a weird way, yeah. But nothing that you can like go hack online stuff. You just Yeah, we almost got a whole level just from that. Terra Zones are such good experience. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. It seems like Terra Zones give even more...
experience and the monsters are even harder. They're, they're not level 99. They're only level 85 still, but they've been increased like 5x HP damage, etc. They're like a lot stronger, so... But it feels like at least... No more barb bro. Nah, maybe we'll shift back into having barb bro. No, you can't do online play with this. Sadly, no. Yeah, this is definitely decent leveling up, though. Are rune drops in this mod? Uh, I don't know the odds on him now, and I think he updated it and lowered them. Because it was really crazy. Probably too, too crazy there to start. Charm drops are still crazy though, yeah. Those could still be lowered a tiny bit, it feels like. Get it, BC! Too, you can't believe it. It's like all I do. What part's hard to believe? Yeah, exactly, Warren. Warren, did you see my uh, combat log? Yeah. Last level stream to something else. No, it's been Diablo 2. <laughs> Maybe the last t ones you saw, but those must have been a bit ago, because. What do you think? It's probably better to put resistances on its own line in the middle or, or the bottom and then show like damage after resistances, you know. Yeah, I think we need to make the combat log wider and the actions bar a little smaller. No, this is players one, but it's a terror zone, so. Wait, who did I not kill? Oh, to say. Oh, God, impacts. Did 
Do I even want to fight Terror Zone Diablo? I feel like I'd rather fight a regular Diablo. Yeah, I think resistances shifting down a notch will be really good. And like I said, just making it a little bit better of a... Like that's a very rough sketch, you know, but make make it a little bit wider and bigger. I think we got him in Terror Zone. Let's see what Terror Zone Diablo drops. Dang, he hits hard. Need some explanation in detail? Yeah. For sure, Haplo. Area best for farming jewels. Mm, probably cows. You just want to murder a lot of stuff. Cows are pretty good for that. Uh, do you know there's a way to reset the map flow back to regular? I do not, Salad. I haven't done anything with map changes. Trav's also decent. Lower Karost is great for jewels as well. Yes. I don't know if they want to actually kill things or not. <laughs> Get it, Bill. Good luck on the burrs. Just lag in this mod. Wow, that's our drops. All that. That was sad. Yo, those are sick. I like those. Oh, I can't do that. That's mm, that makes sense. Spider web sash. Eh. Okay. And then let's take all this out. 23ED. First T2 clones. Harbringer. Mm, I don't know if I already know that one. Put some gold away here and do this. Put a jewel over there. Okay. Uh, does it support controller mode? Looks like it does. Looks like it does. Uh -huh. 
All right, uh, we're level 79. Oh, it's back to the city of the danged. And does it just fluctuate between these two over and over again, or what? <laughs> Maybe it only goes to the better zones. Probably less zones, yeah, that makes sense. Let's try player seven and find a boss group with that. I'm actually really curious. Elemental outreach. Hammers probably, I mean smiter's also really solid, but hammers are really nice. Yeah, this is gonna this is a mod though that's probably got its own pieces, I'm assuming. Okay, let's let's go find boss group. Let's go to River Flame. Mm -hmm. You did players eight trials? Oh my god. Where are all the bosses all of a sudden? That's uh actually insane. I would die so fast on Player's 8 Trials. Alright, let's see how much experience we can get from these minion bosses here. We got basically three bars left. Lightning Fury Javazon? Oh yeah, she's going to clean up down there. I'm not sure that even gave us more experience. That gave us like the same amount of experience we would get without it. Have a little rune gem bag and you deposit it into there. Oh my god, everybody is physical immune. Are there any build guides for Detori modded? Uh, probably somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, just put the jewel in first and then you're good, Hapla. In this mod. Couple on their Discord. Are there any barb barb ones? This 
Skellymancer, Amazon, and a Paladin. Dang it. <laughs> Hello, traveler. Hello. Where's all my potions to buy? What? Okay, let's keep our gold here. Take our gold out of here and here. Favorite add options across the mod so far? I mean, it's got a lot of them, honestly. Alright. So, now, let's do a rune! Two gold bars. Oh, just cube the gold bars. Ah, oh, Nephrune! What? Wait, what do I do if I have four gold bars and I cube it? It doesn't work. Can I rem can I take a gold bar out of this? Gold bar splitter, okay. Jarum! Let's go, baby! Easy! Ah, oh, praise. And a sir rune. All right. 66 high rune points, 322 high rune points. Oh. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so that's really nice. Those are two great rolls. So now we can make fortitude and grief. Probably put it in this dust shroud. Let's check out the rune words before we do this. Okay, let's look at all of them, because now we have everything, except Cham and Up. We can make Knowledge, gives us Sanctuary, and it's not for us. Damage reduced by 15 to 25%, though, is really nice. Life gained when hit, and mana gained when hit. Dude, that's actually dope. Um, sanctuary is kind of weird. Okay. Amity, not for us. Beauty, no. Darkness. Loyalty. All right, I don't think there's anything on a belt we really care about more. Okay, boots. 
We have Armageddon. That requires a cham, though. It does have cannot be frozen, fire resist, hit recovery, fast for run walk, chance for blaze when struck. That's actually nice. And some crushing blow. Those are definitely not bad. I don't know what overheat is. Probably decent. Chance. Increase energy, vitality, strength, dexterity, all res. I kind of like chance. 10 all res, and then some magic find and gold find. With 30 fast run walk, 10 hit recovery. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, try res booties a little bit. Those are nice. Okay, so let me let me write this down in a notepad. Ist shell um boots chance. Okay, so I like that. Daylight no, lightning no, uh, no. Nature's kingdom. Meditation aura. Not for us, but really nice. Screamer, thank you, and thank you for reminding everybody they might have a prime sub available. Knowledge is decent. Blood Gloves gives us a chance for Life Tap. Life Stolen per hit. Open Wounds, IAS, Replenish Life. It's definitely not bad. I have Laying of Hands though, and Laying of Hands may just end up being better still. I mean, I don't get the Life Tap, but 2% is so small. Okay, no, no, no. Nature's kingdom again. The meditation. Morning. Okay. Yeah, unlimited respect works here. Delirium. Chance to guess confuse, mind blast, terror, and level 50 delirium, of course. Dream. No, lore. I don't think we do anything here. I think we're good with our helm. Shields. We could start bashing with some nice shield, you know, if we wanted. Heaven's will. Jaw Zod El Sol. Okay, Fist of Heavens. Phoenix, of course. Cocomel, Spirit. 20 all res, but still really solid. Torsos. Okay, here we go. Now we're looking. We have Bramble with our Thorns Aura if we wanted. Nothing there. Chains of Honor is nice, but me. Dragon gives us Holy Fire. But also, meh. Duress is always great for a cheap, um, get the crushing blow open wounds. Enigma, one to blink strike. Oh, so Enigma has changed pretty drastically, actually, there. The magic find is gone. Oh, no, the magic find's at the bottom. Okay. Enlightenment, no. Fortitude, I think we're going fortitude. That's probably the way to go. Blink strike, probably jump onto somebody and attack them or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure anything's changing us from fortitude. Weapons, I'd love to make a Breath of the Dying and a Warpike. Eth Warpike and just get like insane damage. Ooh, we can make a CTA. Battle cry, shout, war stance. Okay, so there isn't battle orders whatsoever. Wait, where's grief? Oh, this is any weapon. Okay. Passion. Now, death is also an option. It's 
50% chance crushing oh. blow. QGD plus. Eh, maybe Trelf, maybe. Plus it's indestructible, so if we put this in an ethereal. That's a lot of damage. You can only do one rune type at a time. And to get runes out, you have to use an extractor. Which you get from the same person, the, the Edirum. Man, I mean, death is so good. Okay, so we're probably going for death, grief, and fortitude. I think that's our play. <laughs> this is double indestructible. Death, grief, fortitude, melee. What is, what is melee? <laughs> I mean, that's really nice. Piercing attack, okay. Just any melee weapon? Yeah, I guess, okay. Revenge? Now we can try Whirlwinding, we can try, yeah. All right. So, Fortitude. I'll put here. Yeah. And um mal is Actually, see what we have. Lem. Oh, I needed a pull as well. You can hear my fan. This is how you extract, by the way. A little bit annoying, but once you get them, then you're good. Why not just use one and keep changing it? Because that's annoying. And Turk, thank you. It's easier to just have them already. Do it one time and then you're good to go. Cool. 
Um, splitter there. L. Sol. Dol. Lo. Fortitude, 30 all res. Let's go, baby. Two hundred twelve ED enhanced defense. So that rolls. What's that roll? Two hundred. Oh wait, I I used a enhanced defense. <laughs> That's right. I was like, wait a second. All right, perfect. What a beauty. All right, we got our fortitude. That's nice. Yeah, you keep your defense. Um, put that there. All right, so we need to get a phase blade. I guess it's time. Let's shift out of these rings and put our bad boys on. And... Okay, so we need to find grief and death. So we just need to kill a lot of stuff. Do I want to make grief in a phase blade or do I want to make grief in like a berserker's axe? It's cute. It's a good idea, Paladine. And I guess death we're just doing... Yeah, we don't have a lot of gold. I don't know how repairing stuff works or doesn't work in this, though. Drop times always show their name. What do you mean by that? Maybe we try like players three cows. Toggle items? You can toggle in D2 or I'm pretty sure, right? I think they introduced that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought they did. So yeah, we'll just have to kill and see what we get. Yeah. Use two gold bars to make it eth. You can make an ethereal phase blade in this. Why can't I sell this? What do you mean you can't complete that request? I can't sell that. That's weird. Strange bug.
So, yeah, all the gold is really from like gear sales. Wait, I thought I got plus one to all skills. Oh, I do. I just, it wasn't on. Duh. So, I mean, I probably just want to roll flat damage onto everything, right? That's, that's my assumption here. You can't roll that faith blade. Okay. I don't think so. Let's try player seven counts. Ooh, perfect, Saigons. I'll put that to good use. And I have Alright, nice. Now he gets that bonus. Fifty eh, percent magic find. Yeah, essentially, RJ. This is the... Fine, you won't give us any changes, we'll make our own game. No. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I resemble that remark, thank you very much. Hey, I still want to make boots of so I also need three open socket boots. Mercy is pretty tanky. Oh yeah, he's a big old boy. He does a great job. Where's my items at? Is there a loot filter? No. 
I don't know if anybody can has been able to build a loot filter yet. I don't think it's possible with the current way that they've allowed modding. If I'm not mistaken. Drops on cows have been modified, so... Yeah. He was trying to make it so they drop more bases, but... I don't think it's working. I think cows need to be readjusted. Just go kill somewhere else. You've seen due to our loot filters? Oh, never mind then, I'm wrong. People just changing the name of items. Oh. See, I was not aware, but. No filtering's actually allowed? Got it. That'd be nice, Mentos. How to teleport? Once you get through normal, you get a teleport charm. Yeah, this is terrible for drops. Truly terrible. Reduce cooldown. There's going to be some build that's going to love that reduce cooldown stuff. I just don't have it yet. <laughs> So, all right, Vistri. We want to. Go back to that flare jungle. Try and kill stuff out there. The mercenary doesn't do enough damage. I need to probably give him like oath and stuff. So he can actually deal some some damage. I could also go get an act two mercenary and then give him this obedience. That'd at least be some nice damage for him. Crafting is buffed a little bit. I think it's still got room to go, though. Has this mod been fun? Oh, I've had a blast. I've been having a great time with this mod. I think Arcane still loses items off the path. I think other classes are just as fun as Barb. I think the other classes are better. Paladin and Amazon and Necro, I think, are better experience. Those are the ones that have been balanced more, fleshed out more. Maybe not balanced fully, but fleshed out more. Barbarian has actually not been touched nearly as much. 
he was saying, so. I definitely agree. I think Barbarian needs a little bit of work. But I've still had plenty of fun. Nailak, thank you! Necrominion build is sick. Yeah, a lot of people seem to like that. Again, I just love that I'm getting to play like Spear Barb right now, you know? How often do you get to be a Spear Barbarian? Is this better than Diablo 4 Season 2? Oh yeah, I mean, not even close. Not since before LOD when I'd be a Spear Whirlwind. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. No online yet. I'm impossible right now. Physical, that's annoying. Yeah, exactly. It's, I'm, I, I mean, I love SSF anyways so much, so I'm just enjoying the SSF experience with it. Hey, heavy bracers, nice. Tinker of immunity? No, there's other ways to kind of fight and deal with it, though. No. I actually think immunities are, are good. In Diablo 2. Wolfgar, no! Why are there no more potions here for me to buy? What happened to the potions in Act 4? Yes. Charms did not get nerfed. I actually think that needs to be adjusted in this. Defeat Diablo. Okay. Is this really too easy? Or are you just that good? I mean, I'm now getting pretty stacked. I'm just in the chaos, but I'm pretty stacked up. But it definitely has some easier parts and some harder parts. Probably need all those charms for the trials? Yeah, potentially. 
Potentially. You still want to kill Countess on P1? I think so. I'm still killing her on P1. Hey, third elder's piece. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been nice. I've enjoyed it for sure. Keep trains. Super scythe. I kind of want to make an oath in that, but. This Lama RPG? No. Lama RPG is coming along nicely though. We showed some a little bit of it again earlier today. With some questions. Yeah, it's definitely not ideal. We did, or was that an internal preview? Well, we were just we were asking some questions. Yeah, let's see if he's okay. So now I can buy potions from him again. Weird. Fortitude. Gives me some really nice uh, FCR for this, actually. Oh, Wolfgar, what are you doing, baby? get any those essences I th I think the essences are bricked reduce cooldown and increase magic find on that jewel it's good enough to hold all right queen what you got for us Charm. The essences you use to cube. Yeah, to give plus gems in the bag. It's a chance for plus gems. Another lance. Solshar, nice. Darn blue shako. Stay alive and listen. Greetings. Okay, you can go here. I kind of want to see still. 
Oh wait, I need to... Oh, I do like the lightning resist, because I need that. 12 life, 1, 2 cold... Um, let's move the cold away for now. And that's trash. I don't know what I kind of want to see. I forgot. There was something and I kind of wanted to see it. Unique and set city, unfortunately they're all trash, but okay, it gives us course. Okay. Ooh, telling of beads. Uh I do love Isle Strike. A fun item. Okay. I'll go like that. I'll keep telling him beads. H is the hotkey for a hell game. I got no clue what I wanted to see. <laughs> it gives you cores, and then you can use the cores for things? Thingies? Change to Cow Queen, yeah. Um, let's see if there's... 100 unique cores gets you the Spiritual Protector Archon Plate. One to all skills, five to Spirit's Embrace. Enemy cold immunity reduced by 30 to 50%. 50 to 100 life, max life 5 to 10%, and 3 to 5 max all res. That's interesting. What spirits embrace? That would be good to know. Are there other things I can do with the cores, or is that it? That <laughs> may be all. You can roll random uniques and sets. How do I do that? Where, where does it explain that? Maybe that's in here? Storage bag. Oh wait, that's blood con contracts. That's all disabled. Coming soon. We have that. 
Iron choice plus unique extract equals unique version of that item. That doesn't seem like a roll then. Flat, vitality, fast run walk, cold absorb, and fizz and magic DR. Jeez. That's nice. Alright, let's see. Token Forger. Horn Remover. Key of Terror Remover. Where Where is the thingy? Best of sat mosaic is the best. Yeah, I got no clue how to roll with course. Your guess is as good as mine. Key removers? Well, if you put keys in, then it lets you take the keys out. So it's just a place where you can store keys as well. Mosaic is the best build in the game right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh no! Unique amulet! Is Mosaic still in this mod? Probably? I don't know. Mahi Moak again. Blast Bark. And good old Cloud Crack. I guess put the Cloud Crack, the Mahi Moak. Wait, those are all uniques. Huh. Seems like it deals with those differently. 23 life, 62 attack rating. I do like that. You take an exceptional base and a magic ring or amulet, and it rolls unique. What in the world? So you, you can target what unique you want, you're saying. So I could just take... Hmm. Dang, Proto! GG. Try Zahn or... Paladin next, whole different level, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely like a weaker character for it. Chained Lightning. What is this? Chance to cast Charge Bolt, hit recovery, enemy lightning immunity reduced, minus to enemy lightning resistance, six to chain lightning, 81 to mana. 
237 strength required. Goodbye. It'll give you a random unique sword. When you say random unique sword, do you mean any sword or only of the sword type that I got? Alright, let's try this. I have a great helm of the fox. Let's go find an amulet. All-time favorite boots in the game. Uh, Merman Sprockets. Gamble and Ami? I don't want to waste all my money. You said amulet or a ring? I like, I'd say Nat's boots. I just love Natty's boots so much. And me for armoring for weapon. No, oh, okay. Infernos are also fun. See if we can find ourselves. A nice ring. Magic and poison skill damage, interesting. Okay, there's a ring. Okay, so maybe it is an amulet. Oh, the bag needs to be in there as well. I guess it makes sense. Alright, so I have 35 unique cores. Okay, so I'm guessing it's the amulet I need instead of a ring. I don't, I don't know. I have 35 unique cores. Seems like a lot of cores, doesn't it? Does the quality of the weapon matter?
crafting a normal unique 20, exceptional 40, elite 60. Wait, I thought you needed to... Man. That's an elite base. I don't know, man. I'm confused. Let's just store this over here for now. Where's my bag at? Uh. Oh, there it is. Thought I was in my cube. Got scared. Recipe is temporarily disabled. Yeah, that's that's my guess. Doing all right. How about yourself? Okay. Um. Exactly, Kai. Is everywhere level 85? No. It's got the normal leveling. Oops, this is player 7. Which, while down here isn't exactly ideal killing in Dario, overall player 7 is probably a good idea for us in some lesser area. Like, let's do player 7. Player jungle or something, you know? Ami for unique, ring for set. Interesting. Interesting. What was that? Lightning resist 8%, one to cold absorb on a jewel. That's wild. Okay, let's try flare jungle. Players eight, flare jungle, let's see. Players seven. Cause right now I need to f get my grief base. That is the important thing we need to go after. Here we go, now we can get bases. Phase blade, four open sockets. So close. You can remove runes from an item. I think you can. It costs like a, a special thing. I think with a special tool you can do it. Death and the Etnax? I think we make a F death there. Yes, it's not. That's. That's a cute option. I like it.
You're not gonna get six sockets there. It would allow us to move the death around, though, if I wanted to, like, give it to another character, you know? Oh, yeah, we can add a socket with a single gold bar. Though, you can't get six open sockets on a net nax. So I would need a different eth for that. Yeah, I could do the phase blade back there and add two sockets to that. That's an option. I kind of think I might sack the one socket on the death. We can always make another death in the future. It's not that expensive. Nice, Gunza. GG. Yeah, player seven killing is uh, godly, actually. There's actually so much gold. Mod felt a little too easy for you. I think it has some room to be uh, adjusted down. Made a little harder in some ways. It's a very new mod, so he's still playing around with stuff. And you can definitely feel it, you know. Really nice gold there. Four hundred K. Okay, so let's make our death now. Which rune you put in to get the one from the thing hand? Wait, what? I Hell, L, Vex, Skull, and Ort. L. Vex. Hell L Vexort Goal. Hell L. Alright. We got a death. Only 333 ED, though. Darn. AOS was apparently the best division in the American League. Uh, yeah. Still nice. Still very nice. I mean, 50% chance crushing blow is huge. Anything fun to be done with the five open socket rune master? In this game, it'd actually be pretty good, probably, because you can put the like added flat damage and stuff onto it. Double death frenzy. I mean, you probably got to go grief is my thoughts. So let's see. Phase blade right here. 
How do we add to a add sockets? That is my question. Was it a single? Let's go check. gold bars it's random here recipes storage bag essence enhancements unique item plus three rare jewels equals rerolled unique what Any item plus gold bar separated equals add ethereal to item. That's nice. Uh, used add sockets can be used repeatedly. Oh, I need 50,000 kills though first. Gosh darn it, I only have 20,000 kills. We'll put that over there for now. All right, well, that's fine. We'll go to the flare jungle again. It's on magic or higher quality. Rip. It's okay, we just have to find a phase blade. Or, like we said, we could put it on... Yeah, I mean, this is a great place to pick up kills. So... Thank you for your wise... ...guidance. Click counter, millions. Shaco, bases are normal. What do you mean? What do you need so much gold for? Gold is amazing. Gold is actually worth something in this game because you need it for all the gold bars and crafting things and adding sockets to stuff. And so gold is actually super useful. I will say, I really appreciate the, uh, like, space in the cube. For three open socket helms for bulwark and d2r best place um i 
Probably I would go to like Nightmare Cows, be my guess. Or if you want specifically a really nice one, Hell Cows. Ooh, <gasps> Giant Thresher. Let's see if he worked and reworked that at all. And your first burr and ist. Get it. That's insane. GG with the burrs. Kuros there as well. A lot of a lot of potential gold here. Alright, let's move some gold out. Definitely annoying not being able to like sell from within there. Oh god, what was the giant thresher? Oh no! I hope it wasn't good. RIP TC87. Necro only? Yeah, but what if my Necro wanted it? Do I have a Necro? Not exactly, but... Five hundred K! Oh, that's right, you can save rare jewels for crafting. Plus, yes. Cow still best place to farm faith base in normal, yeah. Nice. Five hundred eighty-four thousand. Plus the gold pieces from there. That's that's some really nice gold. Gets us a gold bar. And wait, why does that still say nineteen six six three? I thought I killed more stuff since then. Maybe not. Edge bow for a cheaper gold bar? Oh my god, that works! Plus three necro skills? Okay. Yeah, 
That's probably not a big deal. More unique arrows. You make grief. Traitor, thank you. Best weapon. Honestly, probably like a six socketed grandfather with all of the mods added onto it is probably the best weapon I'd, I'd imagine. That's kind of what I'm like leaning towards at the end. Try and get something like that rolling. I could win first, yeah. Things of said nature. Oops, F. What am I doing with the gold bars? Using them. You just need gold for so much. Phase blade! Let's go! Alright. Now let's make a grief and try out maybe frenzy. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, it's been fun for sure. I've heard shield toss is dope. Druid, seven energy, trash, trash. Ooh, five life, eleven cold res. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, whiz pike. We also have two whiz pikes, which is kind of nice. Pinpoint. Okay, that's a new one. 42 ED. Nice. Four open socket. Great Hauberk, but we've got our armor set for now. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a time for it where it needs... It, it, it needs some time. Like, it's... The nice thing is, it is still actually really fun to just play currently. So, like, shout out to that, you know? I'm actually just having a blast, just kind of chilling and playing it. But it needs some work for future... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go to Nightmare. And suck at this. Okay, 
So, that's not a bad jewel. Enhanced damage jewel actually won't do that much for us. Because it's a phase blade. I mean, it's still something, but it's not as much. So what jewel do we want to put in there? Um... So is that fire? Probably not that. Probably, maybe this, just life, mana, resist. I mean, I don't have amazing jewels. We can always make another grief later. It's a small amount, but it's an amount. All right, we'll go like this. Um, why a bunch of runes not in the bag? Laziness. They're low runes, so it's not like a huge deal. Put him in. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so. Eth tier. Low. Malral. Probably should have kept some of those out. I had three of those already. Eth tier low Malral. Eth tier. I'm missing. No. All right, 30 IS 341. Wow. I, I have never rolled a good grief in my life. Jesus. I always roll. Garbage. Thirty-three forty-one. Good grief. Um Yeah, I mean it's one off from anti perfect. We even rolled minus twenty to enemy poison res, which is literally it runs minus twenty to minus twenty-five. So literally one off. I guess the life after each kill is 11. That's 10 to 15 as well. So two things off in the entirety. Wow. I actually think there's a way to save the runes, but it costs something. Where's, where's that at? Where Where is that? It's still a grief, but God, it's the worst type we could ever get. Ten. 
10 remove tokens and one to what do you mean no don't i want to take these runes out and then put them back in but keep the runes i thought there was a way to do that But now I don't know where. There is, but it's expensive. Like how expensive? Where where do I even see it? Ninety-four llama years, Mr. Llama C. Thank you. That's enabled in the launcher, I believe. Top of upgrades. Ten times socket remover equals premium socket remover. One of each essence equals a socket remover. Oh my god. So I need 40 essences? So Hellrune doesn't uh, do that anymore, does it? Maybe I just roll another grief. I've got the runes for it. Hell, hell doesn't work, okay. Oh boy. All right, let's try a respec. And shift into, cause bashing is no longer the thing. So we need 136 decks. I should probably swap out to a better belt. Vitality increased by 7% is kind of nice. Maybe I just want to go here though. Plus one combat power, whatever that means. Um, huh. Okay, so let's make madness again in a shark skin belt, I suppose. Try for better combat power. Could also make beauty. Gives us chilling armor, which is, you know, whatever. And sanctuary aura, but knockback. I don't want knockback. And that's not for us, so, okay. F tier it is. Yeah, I mean, this mod does a... Again, it's got a lot of room, but it it's really nice. A lot of room to, to work, but it's really quite nice. So we need, yeah, so let's get some strength. And 
Take off obedience. Let's get some dexterity. Got dex there. I might go for Nat's boots. Uh, I do want a new boot, actually. Let's go up here, though, for now. So we'll at least need 106 strength. And 136 strength. Definitely room there. Let's go like that and like this. And all right. Swing two weapons at once. Could also whirlwind with these two. What do you guys think? Whirlwinding or frenzy? Let's try Whirlwind first. I agree, that's fun. Battle tested. War stance. Okay, so that maxes to there. That, that, that. Master at arms. Natural resist. Hmm. Combat efficiency. Raising the defense may not be a bad idea. Yeah, telekinesis is great. Hmm, like I kind of want to do that and just really go for like a high defense build a little bit. That might not be a bad idea. I probably shouldn't have maxed this then. Eh, I mean, that's nice too. I guess we'll go for both of these. So let's start out with Exoskeleton and get that maxed. Okay, so F. We have a blood golem? From what? Death? Oh, death. Death gives blood golem, that's right. Fun. Your barbarian instincts allow you to thrive in combat. Gain life mana when being hit by enemies. Increase your maximum mana. Duration 15 seconds. That's there, that's there. Hmm. So let's do this and this and that. Player seven? Holy cow. Oh, it's a nightmare. Okay, I was like, what the heck? So it is player seven, but it's nightmare. That was confusing. Okay.
Still not bad. Another phase blade. All right, we roll the better grief. Oh, I'd have to use my socket quest again. It's a little sad. Friends would be stronger. Maybe. I mean, this isn't bad. Again, this is player seven here. Is it better than before? I don't know. I feel like we were doing really well before as well. Makes me kind of want to try out Bash with just the grief or just the death. I mean, what we should do is we should take this to one of the higher level areas and really see. That's the play. This is still totally fine, though. It's doing definitely some decent damage. Ooh, 5%. Yeah, the blood golem I don't I don't really care about. It's kind of a fun little thing. Phase blade, and you go here. Uh, is it ancient way that has the the really nice thing? I guess we could also go to the terror zone to see. It's all my life still. All right, let's give it a shot. A shot. A shot. It's just icy cellar, but it's insanely nasty. Good lord. So where is the other? Torment Trials. Icy Hell. Oh, that's within the Torment Trials. So the only way to get there is... Okay. I need mana. 
I got it now. Afternoon. Um, again, we do want to get our mercenaries some better stuff probably soon. What are my res? Okay, my fire res, light. So I can't actually switch to natties. I kind of need these. We could use towels. Big life and mana. Gets us basically maxed. Okay, let's give it a try. God, that's so much stuff. Good lord. What is this density? And the lower resists. And they have an 80, yeah. My attack rating's a little bit low. I mean, it's ignore target defense from grief, but for death, I suppose. Yeah, you can cast on yourself in town, but not for others. Ah, oh, rare Shaco. So close. Yeah, I've got a Raven Frost. Shikaku. Three to archery skills, five to exploding. You know what? I might actually keep that. I want to make an Amazon. Peek up you! What up, bud? Good to see you. No, this is P1 still, I believe.
Excuse me. Rich old texture. It doesn't look old. We're using grief and death. Though we mineraled the grief, like literally mineraled it, just about so. Alright, we got an essence. What does the essence do from this one again? Twenty-five percent chance of one to three unique cores. All right, let's keep it instead and make removers. All right, IK belt. Don't hate it because we have IK helm as well. So. Now we can start looking at some combo IK pieces. Oops. And we have Trang's armor, so we can also look at that. Set items are good. Eh. 110 to strength. I have 106. Is there anything with a little bit of strength I can just put on just to see. Sure. Uh, all right, so basically nothing for a two piece. But that's okay, it's another piece which is solid. And essences. Put over there. All right, let's see how it goes in the Well, Wolfgar struggled, but... You have to kill Bale every time you want to do Trials? I believe so, currently. Or you can use the weird thingies and it'll put you there. You don't have to kill Bale. You at least have to do his minions, right? Yeah, you can go right past him, but... ring. Let's go baby. Eric, thank you. What is that giant boss? 
Enderaku! A giant flesh demon. Frenzy and Drax looking good about now. He didn't drop anything? You can shatter those guys too? Looks kind of funny. a small chance for his unique what's his unique I don't know I'm not a developer what no what is his unique not what's the chance I don't know if Thunder Charms exist in this mod. Played for 20 hours, haven't seen a Sunder. You've been doing Terror Zones? Because I haven't done much Terror Zones, so that's why I'm like, well, I don't actually know. Done Ubers yet. Maybe I should go key farming. Is it still just go Countess and Summoner and all that? Okay. How much harder are the Ubers? Am I just gonna get absolutely popped?
Bro, these bats are murderous. Don't like them. Normal, but they heal more. Okay. So I just gotta prevent their heal. Yeah, just use open wounds. Get rid of conviction aura. So is there an end to the torment trials? Well, it says at level 11 torment trials. How do I know what level it's going to put me in? A lot of mobs. Oof. Fortitude on right now. This is the torment trials, so beyond hell, essentially, kind of like your map. So many charms. Yeah, I agree. I'm wondering if Bash with one of these weapons would be good. Frenzy also seems fun, but Whirlwind is having really nice sustain. I won't lie. Being able to have so much lifesteal is uh, really doing a lot here. I mean, this is a level 99 area. Hi. Roger, thank you. It definitely feels like Rowan's damage lacks a little bit. It feels like it probably does actually go higher than 99. 99 is just like where the monsters get set, but like he can change the, you know, difficulty of the monsters and stuff, right? In the areas, so. I don't think the level's as relevant. More the level is just there to show you that it's hard. Yeah, I'm just curious where the end is. Or if it ends. You can sock its superior weapon. There we go. Ooh, there's the yeah, next level. You can sock its superior weapons with, uh. Larsic. Not cube.
Just like a multiple level dungeon? Seems like that. Maybe dual grief with Guillaume. Torment Trials level 2. Oh, I was in level 1. Okay. It looks like it's always icy for now. Try it this way, I guess. I can't carry anymore. All right. Oh, another raven. Dope. All right, let's use two ravens. Five percent magic find. rare jewels we want. Do the frost bear. I am overburdened. Earth Shifter. Five to Frost Bear skills. Ten IS, ten FCR, fifteen percent crushing blow. All right, we got to keep that. That looks fun. I don't know what a Frost Bear is exactly, but we're keeping it. So many charms are all worthless. I can't carry anymore. Glorious point. One to plague javelin. Reduce cooldown. Okay. With a hundred gems, you can roll for rainbow facets. Ooh, that's nice. Let me pee one second. Should probably mute it.
Let's get our walk on, huh? Let me just find the remote. Where'd the remote go? Uh... Oh my god, who touched the remote? Funny chat. Where'd you guys put it? Hey, Llama. Hello. Thank you. I'm guessing S and T. Oh no, it's Mufanzi. Thank you, Mufanzi. Uh, guys, where'd it go? Oh, Moo Girl took it. The Enterprise Rush would go, yeah. You can't sell a gold bar though, can you? It's a recipe. So you can actually convert it back into gold, you're saying? Oh. Well, that's broken. Okay, I'll let him know. Uh, part nightmare I might actually be able to put up right now. Okay, part nightmare is published. If you take one second to go like that video and leave a comment for the algorithm, I'm gonna get the remote. Good evening, folks and llamas.
Okay. I forgot Moo Girl had a mode. Already in reported bugs? Perfect. Uh, the infinite gold bug. Well, Moo Girl borrowed the treadmill and was using it, so she had the remote. Okay, let's continue our trials. Level two trials. I'm actually curious about the trials. Like, is there more, you know, Better drops as you go lower, better experience. What all happens and changes. That hurt. I don't know. Get wrecked. All right, Wolfgar, let's go back to player seven, Flare Jungle. Well, that's not the icy dungeons, that's torment. So I'm guessing because I died that it's the monsters were harder in that area. That's my assumption. Again, is Whirlwind just not enough? I think that's a good question. Check and control speed during MVS. Oh, for the treadmill? Yeah, I, I do chat can control speed. I think we don't have much time today, like enough time to do all that. But tomorrow we can do chat controlled speed. Now, it only goes up to like 3.6 or something miles per hour. 
goes up to like a light jog. Too, too fast to walk, really, unless you're like power walking. Because, you know, it's under the under the desk safety one, whatever. Honestly, this is one of the faster ones. Swivel those hips. Yeah, you can definitely power walk it for sure. Hello. Yeah, like the zealots from Brood War. <laughs> That's their walk. Especially with that speed upgrade. Ooh. ASL finals this weekend? Yo, for real? I haven't been able to watch much. Uh, okay, don't spoil, actually. I want to go back and watch through. No spoilers. Was it last ASL or a couple of ASLs ago? Uh, it was probably a couple ago, actually. Where Flash did his whole random madness and got third. That was so fun to watch. Uh, you can you can set it to use icons. Yeah, it was like two or three ago. Battle boots! Let's go, baby! Alright, we're level 84, by the way. Respect for damage test before we end. I think we'll damage test next time, because we, we probably want to damage test through a few different pieces. Like I say, Griffin or Griffin's whirlwind is uh is nice though. Hmm. Okay, our defense. One to cold skills. Let's go, baby. Our first skiller, and she's a beaut. And 39% war traps. Ooh, I need the fire res still right now. We'll keep the war traps though close. And the cold skiller. That puppy over there. All right, everybody. It is apparently time to go. So. That is all for today. I am walking. I know I thought we were going to do more walking, but we'll do more walking next time. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll do more walking and chat can uh, control it some and we'll have some fun and we'll continue this character building up and yeah, all the things.
Mwah! Kisses to you all. It's time to go be a dad and feed Moo Girl. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow.